Got a pair of mountain bike shoes with SPD clips. Gonna replace these clips because I got a new set of pedals. Usually the pedals come with a new set of cleats and we're gonna install them onto this shoe right here. The cleats on here look pretty good, but it's a new pair of XT pedals. I'm gonna go ahead and complement them with a new set of cleats, the cleats that came with them. Uh, two bolts per shoe. So with these cleats here, we'll do one at a time here. Down here we got our cleat. We got two bolts, one, two. Typically it's gonna use a four millimeter hex right inside here. Very important if the inside of that bolt is dirty, we're gonna go ahead and clean that. Either use a small pick, small screwdriver, something like that. Get everything you can out of there. Bang it on the floor, blow it out, use a brush, whatever you have to do. You wanna get that super clean. Uh, that way when we put our tool inside here, that tool's gonna to get a nice tight bite. If these bolts are really tight or rusted, then we don't want that tool to accidentally slip out because that's when we start stripping our tools. Uh, most importantly, we're stripping the bolts, which uh, we don't want then, we, we ran into another problem. But when in doubt, maybe just a, a light dab of WD-40 in there, but I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply pressure downward, keep that tool deep into the bolt, and then just counterclockwise lefty-loosey, start breaking that free. Got one free, boom, and we got two free right there. And they're not too deep. Spin these out. And then if it's a shoe that you have the cleat placing where you like it, take note of where your, your cleat is. Is it forward, is it back? But generally we're looking pretty straight. You can tilt them left and tilt them right uh, if you have a, a knee problem or something like that. But that might be something you would do with maybe a fitter or just experiment with yourself. You do have one, two, three, four holes here. Uh, depending, I guess, where you want your foot. Usually you want that cleat to line up with the ball of your foot, which is gonna line up with the axle of the pedal. So I went ahead and put mine forward. Um, you can still slide back, forwards and backwards, um, maybe 10, 15 millimeters. So you have some leeway on that. If it's real dirty, go ahead and hit it with the brush. Um, with our new stuff, here's our new cleat here. Two sides, one side has uh, ridges. That's the side that's gonna dig into the sole of the shoe, boom. And so something like that. There's an arrow pointing forward along with the Shimano. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mimic that. And then there's gonna be a round oval cover and it is uh, dished or concave. So the new bolts are gonna fit in there. So this piece is gonna sit here and the beveled, I guess you could say those are concave. And then this bolt's just gonna fall right inside here. Boom, one, two, and it's gonna sit nice and flush. So these are our special bolts for this particular setup. So if you lose one, you may have a hard time finding that one. But we're gonna go ahead and throw a little grease on these threads. Um, I'm not gonna use thread locker. Uh, I tend to find grease works pretty good. Um, I suppose thread locker would be fine as well, but if you use thread locker, just be very, um, don't be generous, use just a dab. We don't wanna to do too much because then we can get jammed in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and use grease. It's gonna fight any water, um, you know, again, the creek crossings or something like that. That's gonna fight that, keep this bolt from getting stuck inside there and maybe potentially keep any creaking down. I'm just gonna use some Park Tool. It's their general purpose green poly lube. And I can use a brush. I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm just gonna make sure that grease gets into all the threads don't need a lot of excess. A lot of excess will just end up somewhere besides where you need it. One and two. I'll just scroll ahead through that. I'm gonna go back with the front holes. Again, you can experiment with this if you feel. Maybe you got some foot pain, maybe you're sole of your foot or part of your foot's going to sleep or something. I'll go ahead and get that started. You can even use a different tool. Maybe use an L wrench, but I'm just sticking that bolt on top and just go very gently. You want that to catch. Just one, two revolutions, get that caught. Don't tighten it up all the way. Get your other one. Second, last bolt started. Cool. I'm gonna try and match up my old markings here and basically I think I'm forward all the way, about as close as I am to the where the ball of my foot's gonna land. And of course, this cleat's already gonna be lined up with the axle of the pedal. 
So if there was a torque setting on this, um, not sure what it is, but if I had to guess, imagine this torque setting could be <clears throat> 12, 15 Newton meters, uh, maybe more. It's just, it's a hard one to tell because this cleat's gonna get bitten down. It's gonna bite into the soft or hard sole, plastic sole of the shoe. So also you wanna make sure that that cleat is centered. We're not off to the, to the left or off to the right. Uh, we want it to be as center as possible. So we have a gap here and a gap here. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and point forward. I'm not gonna worry about any tilting. Uh, I seem to have pretty good, uh, I don't have any issues with my knees um, at the moment. Uh, also, we got good spacing. So I'm gonna crank that down. So that's good pressure right there. I'm getting it nice and firm. And I'm gonna go and continue maybe another quarter turn or so, bite into it. Now the issue is if you do not tighten these tight enough, when you go to try and clip out, you twist your ankle to get out, to exit, this cleat could slip from your shoe and stay locked in the cleat. Your shoe will move, but the cleat will stay stuck. So you will still be stuck in the, in the, in the pedal. You could just fall right over. So when in doubt, I'll see if I can get you that torque number, but that could vary per shoe manufacturer and per cleat manufacturer, but definitely getting it tight. And everyone's perception of tightness could be different, but definitely way past firm. We do not want this to move whatsoever, no sliding. You may wanna test it first, uh, hold yourself against the table, do some twisting in and out, maybe do that about 10 times per shoe. Take a look underneath, make sure this has not, cleat has not twisted either direction. If so, straighten it up, tighten it back up. But um, basically, you're gonna follow procedure for the, uh, same procedure for the other shoe. Um, do take a look at your shoes every now and then. Um, I noticed I'm missing a cleat. I got one cleat here that is removable or replaceable. Missing this guy here. So they do unscrew. So usually the shoe manufacturers, they may build these in or they have replaceable ones. So when these get worn out, you can replace it. Um, these are pretty critical if you're doing a lot of off the bike hiking, hiking up a, a steep hill, a loose soil hill or a muddy. You might even be able to get ones that are a little taller just for a better grab. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and snug this one up. My finger and then I'll come back. It looks like you could put a wrench on it with all the plastic uh, markings. Uh, kind of worn down so it's gonna be hard to get a tool so you might have to use some pliers and snug that one up. This I may use a dab of thread locker because these are a little bigger, have a tendency to want to come loose. Um, in all honesty, I never checked these uh, since I got the shoes and these shoes are a couple of years old. Um, and then over here, I got a piece of piece of wood or tan bark or whatever that is stuck right in between the rubber of the shoe and the cleat, which could make it difficult to get into the pedal. So we need to inspect these, get that stuff out. Here's a tiny little rock or something like that. And the other shoe had some stickers in there. But overall, um, everything's looking pretty good as far as the wear, even wear. If you see any wear where you're, maybe you're walking a lot, the heel's gone. Um, some traction up front is gone, then uh, you might want to think about replacing your shoes. But overall, just regular scuff marks, pretty normal, little scratches here and there. Um, they did a pretty good job of making the shoe uh, bomb proof, uh, surviving crashes and bangs, and sometimes you'll bang into a rock, and uh, that's what these are good protections. I like this one too because it has a little bit of rubber sole, a little bit of a bite in the middle. So if I was clipped out, for whatever reason, maybe I had a real tricky technical section coming up. I'm gonna go ahead and clip out, maybe just rest my foot on the pedal. I can have it rest in this section here. Um, I'll still have a little grab, so um, my foot won't slip on the pedal. Pedal is metal. Uh, some of these cleats have a hard, slippery plastic, like just a little section right here. And then from here, it's, it's a nice grippy rubber. So hopefully I am grabbing in that right spot if I need to just rest on the pedal. <laughs> 